hello and welcome to the channel today we are looking at the home pow power pack and boost uh, it's a jump starter flashlight power bank and all of these in one package so let's go ahead and open it up so it comes in this box and on the outside of the box you have some of the specifications uh, that include an 88.8 watt hour battery and uh, that's uh, the major thing that we need to know at this point because uh, we need to know how much uh, capacity the, the power bank has and how much power the whole uh, home power jump starter has to uh you know jump start your car in case you run out of battery so with that being said uh let's go ahead and uh, open up the package this is what it looks like uh once you take it out of the box it has this very nice it feels very nice uh, uh bag and it's semi rigid it feels uh, like it's plastic and it has this zip on the side here that you use to open up the pouch here you have a carry handle that you can use you know in case you have to travel over some distance to get to your uh, disabled vehicle so let's go ahead and open this up wow this is so nicely done you have this soft uh, divider here that uh, divides the accessories from the power bank itself you have a manual with the model number G58 it's from home Pow. and here you have some instructions uh, quick start instructions uh, so that way it orients you around the power bank you have the connectors you have the power button you have an LCD screen and here you have uh, a type C port and DC output and here you have uh, information on how to activate the SOS feature and also you have a strobe light that you can uh, feature that you can activate you have the accessories you have the smart jumper cable user manual cigarette lighter converter type C charging cable and the jump start uh, starter battery pack so this can be used to jump start a car to charge a playstation portable for example uh, to charge a cell phone or tablet charge your mobile cameras your cameras and for lighting outdoor when you go out camping so you have to also pay attention to the beeps because it has an audible feedback when you plug it in correctly you would have a blue light and if you have the polarity re reversed or the battery is running low then uh, or the temperature is too high then you will have a uh, red light and then you would also have beeps so let's put that aside and here you have the battery the power bank itself let's take it out so that's molded it fits right there uh, it feels quite substantial let's toss this plastic away very good quality you have the power button right there you have the LCD screen here you have some instructions and here you have the DC output here you have the USB type C to charge it in or out that's what it says and on the front you have the port where you plug in to start the engine uh, let's see to jump start I'm doing that wrong I guess <laughs> uh -oh, I might need some help and here you have a USB and a two USB outputs I believe there are two different types you can see the color code and here you have the light so to turn on the uh, the power bank you know you touch the power button you can see it's already charged 74 percent you press and hold and there you have your flashlight you hold for two seconds it goes off two seconds flashlight I can't imagine how long this can last because it's a LED and then you press one time 
you have the SOS function that it's uh, sending the SOS in Morse code using the light and then you press one more time and there you have the strobe function so in case you get lost you get stranded you can turn on the strobe one more time solid and two seconds boom it's off all right let's go ahead and see if we can get this engine start feature i can't open this port okay there you go and i think uh, this is an xt90 connector it looks like an xt90 connector those who are into electric bikes you might recognize this type of connector it's an xt90 uh, let's see what happens when we plug it in I think I see a blue light. I don't know if you guys see that. And I believe at this point it should be ready to jump start a vehicle. All right, let's take that out. Go gently, I don't want to break it. Not that it feels fragile, it's just me being too cautious. So I believe this is how you recharge the whole ba uh, power bank. You use uh, this USB connector and plug it here on the side. Boom. And then this goes into your USB uh, power outlet. And then it might take a few hours to recharge the whole thing. And here you have the cigarette lighter for uh, let's say you have accessories, maybe GPS, uh, a phone charger that uses, you know, uh, the cigarette lighter or other accessories then you can plug it in here and that should be good to go you should have 12 volts out here so that was just a brief uh, presentation of uh, this home power jump starter power bank and uh, it, i mean it's a swiss army knife for people who are into camping and off-roading so i would definitely have this always with me whenever i travel especially in cold weather or in case i'm going far from home so uh definitely something that you should consider having in your toolbox uh as an essential thing to carry around in case of an emergency and also to help others out Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and let me know your thoughts on this. Catch you guys on the next one.